Hello there, my name's Greg Packer. I'm Senior Land Service Officer slash Aboriginal Communities. In this program, our staff are looking for Aboriginal artefacts and we are documenting and putting them in the system and I hope you enjoy the video. Riverina Local Land Services have sent Uncle James and Pete Ingram, two Wiradjuri men from Wagga Wagga and who are employed with local land services, to downside travelling stock reserve at Hooligans Creek to search for Aboriginal artefacts. Recently, the New South Wales Government had decided to do a review of all travelling stock reserves, and today, Uncle James and Pete are going to assess the cultural heritage on this TSR. So, we have like a GPS, we have uh, an iPad to document it all through OEH uh, AIMS app, so that's Aboriginal Heritage Management Systems app. Uh, so basically we just need an iPad, uh, a camera of some sort, uh, a GPS, some measuring devices to get some true measurements of these artifactual items that we find. James and Pete believe they have found a modified tree. From their observations, it appears the Aboriginal people of the time have cut out some timber for practical use. Where our old people, our ancestors, come in and cut a nice shield or a coolman or even a young kid's little canoe could be. And by the looks of the tree, there's actually another one on the other side where he's a little bit, he's a bit actually a bit deeper, so he's a little bit older. Pete and James use the OEH Aboriginal Heritage Management Systems app and document it through OEH New South Wales. Due to limited internet service on some TSRs, they take two different versions. First, using the app when they can, and then they document it on paper as well, head back into the office and fill out all the fields from there. Okay, what are your northings? I've got 6121088. Yours correct? That is correct. I need to know what your horizontal accuracy is. Well, with this GPS and our, your GPS, because they're exactly the same, we are within a five metre proximity of this scar tree. James and Pete explain the data being collected via the app. In this app it uses a, a datum point that's taken from Sydney which is called GDA. Uh, it goes throughout uh, southern New South Wales and New South Wales itself. We're in a zone what they call 55 and we're locating this tree by using a GPS. Okay, um, I've done all that. What I need to know now is information about the tree. Now I need to know, right, the tree circumference. The tree turns out to be 400 centimetres in circumference. They now need to find out the number of scars. Two scars done. All right, I need to know the scar length. Uh, this, we record this one first. How many, what is the length, Pete? It's uh, 1,200 millimetres. They also have to determine the depth of the scars, as this will indicate which is older and determine the shape and species for recording. Scar depth, Pete. Well, this one here says it's only 100, but then we have this scar here that's a lot older. So we have like a 300 mil depth on this one, where we only have 100 mil on this one. Are you telling me that one's older? This one, this side is heaps older. Heaps, heaps older. All right, I need to know the regrowth of this. It's 100 mil as well. Done again. Now. What shape is this tree, this, this scar, a, man? This is uh, definitely an elongated scar. Right. James and Pete then have to make a call on the description of what they have seen. Okay, I'll just change that to two elongated scars. All right. Your best bet again is that they they are shields or they are um, canoes. What are they? I believe they're a shield scar. Because a canoe, we have come across canoe ones that are a lot larger, where this is a, a little bit smaller. So it could be even a shield, but all tools that I believe have had multiple uses. So yes, this might have been a shield, but then also could have been used as a large carrying bowl too, for big okay. fish and berries and, and all, the, all our lovely things with, amongst the bush. Given what I've seen here today, this is a, a shield tree. It's made by our forefathers. It's now time to add photos of the site as well as recording the directional markings and GPS location. This is all done via the app, but it's also done by hand in a notebook for even more documentation and accuracy. It's not long before James and Pete find some more significant Aboriginal artefacts. Okay, that sort of stuff here, mate. 
volcanic rock, very significant to our people. And uh, you can tell where it's been worked and so forth and how it's used, all right? So that's, like, so, so that's a hand axe, is it? Yep, it sure is. You find a lot of this stuff in the landscape, all right? Now, the situation is that it's supposed to remain in what they call situ, right? It's a, it's a lovely example it's of definitely uh, been worked, hadn't it? artifacts and so forth. Yeah. Uh, this is stuff that we need to record, get off to uh, into, into the AIM system uh, with Office of Environment Heritage and make sure it's protected. Cool. Blackstone, would you call it? Uh, you can call it Blackstone if you want. Uh, you know, the more information you put in about the artifact itself into the into the app, which goes off to uh, Office of Environment Heritage, uh, you know, the more uh, easily they can make a decision upon it, right? Thanks for watching. For more information, contact local land services on 1300 795 299 or visit www.lls.nsw.gov.au.